Welcome Awaken Intuitives. Welcome back and welcome to any new Awaken Intuitives. As you know of the title, this is going to be an unboxing. It's not going to be very long, but I just had to share with you guys because it's going to be used for future readings. Um, Natalie here. I hope you're all having a great weekend. Last night, me, my fiance, our two kids, and our, some other extended family went to the drive-in movie theater, and we've seen the Minions and the new Jurassic World. So it was so warm out during the night and um, it was just so fun and it was so nice. So it was awesome. You can't find very many drive-in movie theaters anymore. Um, I think they're kind of coming back, but anyway, so that was awesome. We have that here to do during the summer. Um, but anyway, I just had an idea <laughs> to look for another tarot deck. Um, I just wasn't sure. So I was just going to look around and things like that. And I found one and I'm like, oh my gosh, yes, <laughs> I'm totally drawn to that. Uh, yeah. an amazing price. And then I thought of another one that my really good friend, a uh, really good loved one, um, she's got this deck and I'm like, oh yeah, I totally forgot about that one. I've been wanting it ever since I seen her have it. And so I found that one as well. So I got two new tarot decks. Um, I have more Oracle decks than I do have tarot decks. So I'm, I'm a little OCD. <laughs> I like to balance things out. My, I have a Libra rising sign. Um, that's my personality, what I project to others things like that and Libras always are seeking balance they're not always balanced <laughs> it's always seeking balance for Libra so that's what that's about anyway I don't know what to start with first you know what I think I'll start with the first one I found then the other one um, that my really good loved one had so check it out look at this <laughs> look how cute look at that Oh my gosh, it's just so tiny. <laughs> I have one little pocket tarot and I love it. I mean, it's amazing. I can take it anywhere. Um, but I'm like, you know, maybe I need one more <laughs> crystal medicine. You know how this is. <laughs> um, I'm not about diamonds, okay? I'm about these and stones and that's why my engagement ring's opal. You know what I mean? Anyway, crystal medicine check her out please her channel will be listed in the description below please anyway so this is called the line strider tarot mini by ciolo thompson so um it's it's uh got a different image on each side so there's this one sorry about the glare but we'll take that um paper or plastic off not paper so let's open it up i hope you enjoy this as much as me Oh, come on. I think we're gonna get some more rain in and I'm like, this is the best summer ever. Here we go. We got a trick. Just don't wanna ruin the box. All right, this had pretty good, good reviews. I found them both on Amazon. I usually find all of mine on Amazon and I usually look through everything I can and pick the one that I am feel, I feel more drawn towards anyway so it's just like a little card box cardboard box okay oh inside it's wrapped again oh my gosh oh look at the back that's how every um every single back side of it is oh it's simple but it's like it feels so meaningful already i don't know it feels good it feels light too, like energy wise, um, lighthearted, um, not, not, not very deep, deep. I, I guess you could say some things feel, uh, heavy, you know, with energy. Oh my gosh. I think this is smaller than my other mini deck. Let's see. So there's the back side to them. And then this one, there's the fool and they're just simple and they're light can you see that so um let's see if it's smaller than this um the wild unknown pocket tarot that i use all the time i love this tin can it came in because it just won't get ruined oh yes 
they're smaller check this out oh my gosh look at that that is so funny oh my gosh it's probably three inches by two yeah <laughs> okay cool anyway so let's uh go through those a little bit then i'll show you my other deck all right so that's oh this one's it's information about where it was made printed in poland i really like that a lot i do like usa um, made stuff but that's cool as well um yeah, that's got the information on, oh, it was made in 2020. Wow, so it's fairly new. Um, okay, and then there's another one. I got this for a screaming deal. I'm not kidding. I got this for probably just like 11 bucks and look at the prices on the bottom. Can you see it? It says uh, $29.99 US and $41.99 in Canada. Amazon. I got that for a screaming deal. Okay. All right, here we go. It did not come with a booklet, but I don't need one. Um, that's totally all right. So there's the fool. I showed you that. The magician, it's a monkey. And in Chinese astrology, I'm a monkey. Um, ooh, the high priestess. See how simple they are, but they're like clean. Oh, the empress, she's just uncovered a little bit but these are beautiful the emperor i feel like i'm shaking sorry the hierophant wow these oh my gosh i'm in love with them i am in love with them the lovers oh yeah the chariot these are amazing strength oh they're so simple, but so much meaning. So much meaning. The hermit. It's getting windy. Oh, the will of fortune's beautiful. So beautiful. Justice, wow. The hangman. Oop, yep, getting windy. Death, so simple, but so much meaning. Temperance, wow. Wow, wow, look at this, the devil. Amazing, the tower, oh, I love it. The star, this is my card, I'm an Aquarius sun. Amazing. The moon. Ooh, this one's super cool. You know, that's such bull crap. Why do they keep making cancer instead of a crab? They're making it a lobster. I didn't see, they didn't show this card, I don't believe. That's really, really a bummer. Close enough, but still stupid <laughs> okay I'm so sorry cancers why do they do that to you they're trying to change you and you know what don't change for anybody <laughs> the world oh she's uncovered too the colors are amazing and perfect and look at that ace of wands so now we'll just kind of skim through these a little bit. The King of Wands. Oh my gosh. Let me know if you like them. I am in love with them. The Ace of Cups. They're kitties. The cups. Oh, there's like dogs and cats. Oh, I love that. I love that. I want to find, okay. There's the Three of Swords. They look like birds. These are gonna be a little difficult to shuffle, that's for sure. <laughs> the Queen of Swords. They're so simple, but they're incredible, honestly. 
honestly. Oh, wow. The two of pentacles. The ten of pentacles. So much meaning. Oh, my gosh. I love this page of pentacles. She's a tiny bit uncovered, not too bad. So, I, hopefully you can tell. I'm, I love it. And then we'll do the king of pentacles. Look at the owl. And the back side is like um, watercolors, but that like mirrored image. It's a, such a good idea to do something like that really so should we try to shuffle it let's knock it out even though it's fresh and brand new um oh my gosh <laughs> i'm gonna need a little practice oh that is so funny they're not matted and that's totally fine there there's a tad bit of uh, not much gloss, but a little bit. Oh, we got a card. We got eight of swords. Ooh, look at that. Okay, let's do another shuffle. And then let's see if we can have one pop out when we're really shuffling like this. Ah, <laughs> I had a feeling. All right, here we go. Um, yeah, this is going to be interesting with the shuffling it's so much smaller than the other uh, pocket tarot i have but um <laughs> we'll we'll get it oh i don't need to do that one again we'll get it oh come on maybe i need to close my eyes <laughs> and focus a little better there we go that works we got the emperor divine masculine and the sun can you believe that I love that so much. Look at the Emperor Aries energy. And the sun. I love the sun because they're, it's like a sunflower. Yeah, but um, like a waterfall of different colors inside of it. I love it, you guys. Uh, let me know if you like it. I'm really excited to try it in the next readings. Okay, guys, here we go. This is the next one. This is what my really good bestie loved one had. And she showed me it. She's got this deck. Conscious Spirit Tarot by Jennifer Galasso. And then it shows you the Wheel of Fortune on the back. And it's another cardboard box. Um, Yeah, this is amazing. Okay, this one is made in or came out of Connecticut, USA. I still want to make my own deck. I have my own cards. I have my own um, markers and pens and things like that. So whenever I can, I'm just going to start working on it slowly. Okay, so this comes with a little guidebook. It's a paper guidebook. Um, it's got the other plastic, but I don't want to I don't want to get pen on the cards. That would be terrible. So I should have prepared for this a second ago. Oh, it's that's cool. It comes, it comes with this like a cigarette box. I used to smoke cigarettes, but if you know, I I smoke an e-cig now. Um, anyway, a vape. So here's the guidebook. I like the size. Oh, look at the back of the cards. I kind of forgot. Oh my gosh, it's a crystal ball. Look at my crystal ball. Oh yes. Thank you loved one for showing me. And there's a card that shows you about Jennifer Galasso. Um, it says Jennifer Galasso is a fantasy artist and illustrator who was raised and currently resides in New England. Ooh, Jennifer began her art career painting murals in high school. Her interest in tarot also began during that time. Wow. Um, Jennifer pursued her passion for art at Providence College, studying psychology, studio art, and art history. That's amazing. Her love for the tarot grew throughout college where she read for herself and friends on a regular basis. The mix of visual art and psychology that makes up the tarot really appealed to Jennifer. A few years after graduating, Jennifer opened a small art school for children. 
Wow, that's amazing. Later, she studied graphic and web design, which helped her start a business designing, producing, marketing, and licensing her artwork. And it's beautiful artwork, too. Um, today, you can find Jennifer's artwork online and in retail stores in the form of prints, greeting cards, figurines, and other fine gifts. Jennifer has also illustrated many short stories for small press anthologies and fantasy magazines and has recently completed her first author-illustrated children's book, Crystal. Crystal Visions Tarot. Crystal Medicine. You may need this. Th we need this for what we are doing. Wow. Creating the Crystal Visions Tarot inspired, challenged, and excite. Did I say it was something else, Crystal? Did I say it was Crystal Visions when I started this? Did I say something else? I'm going to have to go back and watch this. Okay, sorry. Creating the Crystal Visions Tarot inspired, challenged, and excited Jennifer more than any of her other artistic endeavors to date. Shortly after completing the Crystal Visions Tarot, Jennifer began the initial planning of her next deck, the Tarot of Myths and Legends. I'm going to have to look for that one. Um, please visit. Oh, she gives her website and uh, another website for the actual dedicated deck. So that is super nice, super cool. And um, it starts off with the Fool and it goes all the way to the Ace of Wands. So it kind of is backwards. Um, so here's the guidebook and there's no pictures, no, um, no, um, colors or anything like that, but I'm totally fine with it. It's a great size. I really like that. And so here's the fool. It's beautiful. Look at the colors. She's totally like fan fantasy. Um, and I'm all about Game of Thrones. Um, I'm kind of picky, but I'm like, I love it. I won't read books really about that kind of stuff, but I'll watch like movies and shows about it. Here's the magician. Ooh, the high priestess. Oh, you know, my favorite um, card out of the entire tarot is the empress. And the star, but the empress. And I'm like in love with this. Look at her. Wow. The emperor. A crystal ball. The colors are great. The hierophant. Ooh. Ooh, look at the Pope. Personally, I am not a fan at all. Okay. Um, the lovers, this is beautiful. The colors are great. The chariot. Strength. Aw, sunflowers. Oh, I made a video yesterday in my garden the hermit and all my flowers and plants and I'm going to put it together and um, show you guys and I found one of my sunflowers the wheel fortune and it is one of the coolest sunflowers I've ever seen in my life so you'll get to see that justice the hangman these are great I really like them a lot they're not shiny um ooh, that wind um death oh look at temperance oh my gosh <gasps> look at the devil Ooh, i like what she did there i really like that because temptation and you know, a lot of people don't believe, and that's the biggest trick he can play on anybody. You know, the tower. Look how amazing. Oh, the star. The moon is incredible. The sun. Oh, I. Monarch butterflies. Oh, I love it so much. <gasps> The, ten, the judgment is um, like a trumpet um, horn blowing, like a judgment call, uh, attention. And look, they've got, tr she has trumpet flowers. What a freaking good idea. What a good idea. The world, oh. I love it. I love it. <gasps> 
The unknown card. I didn't know this was in there. And she has a crystal ball. It says the unknown card. Did we pull the moon? We did. So that, ooh, that's gonna be so nice to have the unknown card. It will be nice, it will. King of Cups, ooh, I love it. This is so freaking cool. All right, let's go, ooh, oh, here we go. Seven of Cups with the dragon. I freaking love dragons. I love them. All right, let's see. Let's go down to the Queen of Swords. These are amazing. And the card stock's actually not bad. It's pretty decent. Oh, look at the Ten of Swords. She's in the snow. Because that's Betrayal. Ten Swords in the back. Okay. Let's keep going. Look at Ace of Swords. It's beautiful. Look at the King of Pentacles with his uh, crystals. And the Queen. There's crystals all over in the pentacles. Oh no, not all over, sorry. Look at the nine of pentacles though. Oh, the eight of pentacles, she's spindling the job card. That's amazing. Let's see. Look at the two pentacles, the juggling. It's beautiful. She's like a ballet dancer. How amazing. So awesome. Here's Page of Wands, another dragon. And I, I love her crystal balls. Thank you, loved ones, so much. Six of Wands, victory, victoriousness. Oh, wow. Three of Wands, taking action to make plans. Last one I'll show you. Oh, the Ace of Wands is beautiful beautiful all right um let's shuffle it see what we get out of this one this is so nice i'm like very very happy with what i got i'm very happy all right Two of Swords. Two of Swords is difficult decisions, feeling blindfold about making decisions. Let's see what else we get. One more. And then I'll let you go. Oh! Queen of Cups, the seer. She can channel. She's nurturing, motherly. She is empathic. She's a seer. She's a channeler. She's very caring. Awesome! All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed. I hope you're all doing great during this weekend and um, coming up on a whole new week and a whole new month. Um, Dylan Rounds' birthday is on August 1st. Plant a seed, any seed you want. Um, they're focused on sunflowers um, for him. And it's his birthday, so he'll be 20. He would be 20. Um, and, you know, today is Saturday. It is the 30th, July 30th, and I don't know when this video is going to upload. I'm still waiting for my last um, reading to upload. I did it yesterday, and it, I hope, I really hope it'll be posted today because I made it for all of us and for today is the Rise Up World Awareness for Human Trafficking for children, rise up for children, okay? It's represented by blue, the color blue. So I hope you get to see my video that I did yesterday. It was supposed to be uploaded today. I really hope it really uploads today. I can't make a post because I don't have 10,000 subscribers on YouTube. Isn't that ridiculous? Because I just wanted to say, please wear blue for the awareness of children for human trafficking, Saturday, July 30th. I can't do that. So I really hope that uploads um, maybe I'm gonna post something on my uh, Facebook um, group for the our page, and so um, I'll I'll 
put that in the description in each of these videos so you can find it and request to follow or whatever it is. Um, other than that, I don't get on Facebook much, but um, wear blue if you, if you get to see this or the previous video. I really hope you see the previous video. Um, it's also about the Lionsgate portals coming up and it's for all of us each sun sign, okay? Aries through Pisces, all the way through. So, you guys, I hope we come up on a really good week. I know we're building up to this Lionsgate portal, <laughs> so things are crazy and intense, and we're gonna figure it out like we usually do, and everything always works out, right? All right, guys, thank you so much for letting me glow, but let you glow as well. And um, so much love and light, and I'll see you in the next unboxing, next reading. We'll see, I'm gonna do a full moon reading. Um, it is on August 11th, and it's going to be in Aquarius. All right. Okay. See you then. Bye.